What if the key to building a just and fair business wasn't about following rules or regulations, but about cultivating a specific type of character? Epictetus, a former slave turned stoic philosopher, knew that true justice starts within. And today, we'll explore his timeless wisdom on how to create a fair and flourishing work environment. Principle 1. Don't be a slave to your desires. Epictetus taught that if you allow your desires to control you, you become a slave to them. In business, this means not letting the lure of immediate profits or personal gain cloud your judgment. Instead, seek to align your actions with deeper values and ethics. Focus on what is within your control, your thoughts, decisions, and integrity. When desires dictate actions, fairness often takes a back seat. Create a work environment where rational thought prevails over fleeting desires. Remember, true strength lies not in indulgence, but in moderation. Cultivate discernment. Ask yourself, does this action honor my values? By doing so, you not only empower yourself, but also create a culture of fairness in your business. When leaders demonstrate self-control, it sets a powerful example for employees, fostering an atmosphere of trust and respect. So in your quest for business success, strive to master your desires rather than be mastered by them. This is the foundation of justice. Principle two, the art of objective decision-making. In the world of business, emotions run high and decisions can be impulsive. Epictetus reminds us that objective decision-making is crucial for justice and fairness. To cultivate this skill, step back and assess situations without the cloud of personal biases. Gather facts, consider multiple perspectives, and challenge your own assumptions. Refusing to act solely based on emotions allows you to see the bigger picture, making it easier to treat everyone fairly. Implement systematic methods for decision-making, weigh pros against cons, and involve trusted advisors in the process. Even the best leaders can falter when emotionally invested. Strive to be the calm in the storm. Remember, a decision made in haste can lead to regrets and unfair outcomes. Embrace the stoic approach. Think before you act and let reason guide your journey. The more objective you are, the more you empower yourself and your team to create a just environment, paving the way for success rooted in fairness. Principle 3. Be fair to yourself first. To be truly just in your dealings, you must prioritize fairness to yourself first. Epictetus believed that self-respect and self-care are the cornerstones of a balanced life. When you neglect your well-being, your ability to treat others fairly diminishes. Start by setting boundaries that protect your time and energy. This isn't selfish, it's essential. When you honor your own needs, you cultivate the strength and clarity needed to make equitable decisions. Think about it. If you're overwhelmed or burnt out, how can you extend fairness to your employees or clients? Reflect on your values and align your actions with them. This principle emphasizes that self-fairness leads to a healthy work environment where respect travels both ways. When leaders model self-care, they instill a culture that treasures fairness, fostering loyalty and trust within teams. So take that time off, practice mindfulness, and prioritize your mental health. Only then can you uplift others while embodying the principles of justice in business. Principle 4. Set clear boundaries. Setting clear boundaries is fundamental for maintaining justice in business as well as personal life. Epictetus taught that boundaries are not only essential for self-protection, but also for fostering respect among peers. When you define what is acceptable and unacceptable in the workplace, you create an environment of trust and clarity. For instance, communicate your availability and be firm about your working hours. If clients or colleagues overstep these boundaries, Remind them respectfully 
but assertively. This approach not only safeguards your well-being, but also sets a standard for how others should treat you. Additionally, boundaries help prevent burnout, allowing you to be more present and engaged in your work. When people know your limits, they are less likely to take advantage of your time and energy. Remember, establishing boundaries isn't about being rigid. It's about creating a structure that promotes fairness and balance. By implementing this principle, you cultivate a thriving atmosphere where everyone understands their roles and responsibilities, thus enhancing overall productivity. Conclusion, cultivating justice in business and life. In conclusion, cultivating justice in business and life is not merely an ideal. It's a necessity for sustainable success. By adopting Epictetus principles detaching from desires, making objective decisions, prioritizing self-fairness, and setting clear boundaries, you create a foundation of trust and respect. Each principle reinforces the notion that fairness is a two-way street. When you respect yourself, you earn the respect of others fostering a culture of integrity. Remember that justice is an ongoing practice, not a destination. As challenges arise, regularly revisit these principles to guide your actions. Encourage open communication within your organization, allowing everyone to express concerns and share ideas. This transparency enhances collaboration and accountability. Ultimately, by embodying these stoic teachings, you become a beacon of fairness, encouraging others to join you on this journey. Commit yourself to cultivating a just environment and you'll reap the rewards. Loyal teams, satisfied clients, and a thriving business ecosystem that values equity and respect. Justice is not just good for business, it's good for the soul.